Studer comes with a significant reputation in terms of the quality and the consistency of the parts that can be produced on their machines. And seeing the flexibility of the Studer and the offering it gave us, it, it convinced us that actually it was the right offering for us to, to take on board this machine. We're in the Team Valley in Gateshead. I'm here with Mike from NTG, and they've just bought a new Studer Fabric 1044. First of all, Mike, tell us a bit about yourself. So I'm Mike Hutchinson, I'm the MD of uh, NTG Limited. Uh, we've been here and established over 40 years, trading out of the, uh, out of the Team Valley here in, uh, in Gateshead. Uh, the business was originally started over 40 years ago as a, as a specialist tool maker, uh, and has since, uh, since then built up a reputation for being able to produce high quality, high precision parts, with great customer service, servicing every sector you could think of, where severe duty application parts are essential. What do I mean by that? I mean parts that are basically going to be used in uh, environments which are high pressure, high temperature, high speed, high abrasion environments where fit, fit for use first time is, and right every time is absolutely critical to their performance. Okay, so how does the Studer, this new Studer grinder fit in with that aim for consistency, reliability in these difficult to make parts? Well, typically, because we started off as a as a tool maker, we've had we've had grinding as part of our of, as our offering, together with uh, you know EDM services as well, because that started off as part of the tool making portfolio. And as a result of that, a lot of our customers come to us because of that specialist grinding knowledge. What the Studer offers us is that high level of flexibility and uh, capability when the precision ground finish that's required on some of these parts is absolutely essential to their application. And therefore, having something like the Studer that we've got behind us is absolutely uh, critical and its flexibility is also really, really important. Kieran, we're here sort of in front of the Studer Fabric 1044. Yeah. What processes are you running on this machine? Uh, at the minute, I have been running mainly cylindrical grinding, external, uh, multiple dampeners and face grinding. So this is obviously really fine finishing of, yeah. of harder materials. Yeah. What kind of materials are they? What, what hardness? Majority of materials we do at the minute are tend to be like hardened steel, so like D2, maybe it's 45, Rockwell and more. We do do mild steel, softer steels and stuff like that. Quite a lot of it's got tight tolerances on, concentricity tolerances as well, it's got to be quite close. Yeah, so they're really tight tolerances. Yeah. What, what tolerances are you achieving? At the minute, we're sort of grinding it to like between 5 microns and 25 micron tolerances. That's um, on diameter on and also that, in, in dimension. Yeah, faces and also bores as well, internal. Brilliant. So there's also there's a lot of different features, a lot of different diameters. Yeah. It's obviously quite a capable machine. Yeah. What do you think is like a standout feature of it? Um, probably what I like the most is it can grind external and internal in the same program. So instead of doing it in separate operations, you can actually do it all in the one. Which actually can be a bit of a game changer. Yeah, can't yeah, yeah. It? So, so how, how does that differ from other machine tools? Machines I've run in the past, you can only do, say, external, and then you have to do your internal separate. So you can literally grind external, spin round, do internal as well, folding sizes with pores and stuff like that as well. So, Whereas this automates that process, so you don't have to unlock it, yeah, turn the yeah, internal so it around does it for you. So the head will literally spin mid program. And this machine has a feature called the Sensortron. Now, what is that? Yeah, Sensortron sort of like a, um, it's like a detection system for knowing when the wheel's in contact with the job. So it's like a heart rate monitor, and you get a solid line when the wheel's actually touching. Uh, just the easy way of knowing when you're in contact with the job. It's easier to see than, obviously, when you're looking at the machine and you've got coolant on the job, you can't always tell when you're touching. Yeah, so, so that helps you to know when the tool's actually cutting, which I didn't, I've, I've not got much experience yeah, with grinders, yeah, yeah. so you don't often know when the tool's actually cutting. Yeah, a lot of the time you're just going by eye and it's sort of guesswork. So like previous machines I've used, you can't really tell when you're in contact. So obviously, as soon as you get a solid line, you know you're touching the material. How do, does that help you then? Have you been using it? Massively, we use it all the time. We use it with dressing the wheel, so we've got set to the diamond, we've got it set to the wheel head for when it's touching our material, so use That's it all the time. That's a really useful key feature. Yeah, you don't massive, get on many other is, machines. Yeah, massive, yeah, yeah. So obviously your customers expect good parts to come out of this, this machine shop. And this studio is actually, this is kind of the last, the last operation that most, quite a lot of your parts will go through. So when your customer, when the parts get delivered to customers, this is the finish that they'll be seeing, is what's been made by this machine. Correct, yeah. In the, uh, most of the parts we have are either turned or they're, or they're, or they're milled or they're, they're put through the EDM process. And then a lot of the parts that end up going through the studio here go through a, a, an external heat treatment uh, process, which will be depending on the, the materials or the customer's requirements, and uh, with one of our uh, partner organisations. And then this is the final time that the, the, the part gets touched by us before it then goes to the, goes to the customer.
And so that you know, it's, it, this is really is the final point where we where we really make sure the, the, the quality and the consistency of that quality is delivered to the customer.